Hey, weirdos. I thought this time around I would share something from another podcaster that I absolutely love. And I mean that truly. I really do love this man. I actually gave my life to Christ back in 1989 at one of his concerts. He was a wild man at the time when it came to Christian music, and he is still so sarcastic and fun even today with his own podcast called Nutshell Sermons. I just wanted to show you what it is that I get to hear every morning from this guy, Brian Duncan. Dear God, can we talk? I'm still trying to figure out why it is not good for a man to be alone. I seem to end up that way more often than not, usually right after a conversation I'm having about a relationship I have. Considering I'm supposed to be someone created to have a relationship, I don't see any natural affinities in that direction. I am talking specifically about the whole man-woman conflict. There seems to be nothing natural about communicating with each other. I was wondering if there was a residual effect from that whole Tower of Babel incident. The woman you gave me doesn't make any sense to me. Words are coming out of her mouth at an alarming rate. I have to take notes, because I know just two days from now there's going to be a quiz. She likes to throw out this one line, what did I just say? And I better not say, oh, were you talking that whole time? I'm trying to hear her, really. I've reached a point where I repeat back verbatim. That seems to suffice. But so help me here, my comprehension score is hovering around zero. Fortunately for me, though, I do seem to be able to read body language. There is no doubt when she is angry, and her body language has a way of saying, get out. Get out now before there are any injuries. It's better to dwell in the corner of a rooftop than with a brawling woman in a wide house. Uh, that's what it says in the Bible. Well, thank King Solomon for me for that little nugget. Thanks for letting me share. Amen. I took a parenting course once, and some of those principles might work in a relationship with your spouse. If you want your kids to listen to you, you have to come down to their level. And if you're a wife, stop laughing at that one while you're thinking about making contact with your husband and make eye contact. And it also helps if you put your hand on them, touch them on their knee or their shoulder, especially with kids if you want to get them to do something. It's kind of like plugging into a wall socket. And if you don't believe me, try this example. In the class, they had a guy sit with his back to the person reading a newspaper, and he says, I want you kids to go to bed. The difference is amazing when you do it the first way. I can't make eye contact here with you, but I'm hoping you've come down to my level when I say thanks for listening to Nutshell Sermons and prayers you won't hear in church. And just pretend that I'm looking you in the eye when I say, my podcast is free! If you got a laugh out of this, and if you'd like to hear even more, you can go to nutshellsermons.com and you can subscribe on your own. Or just look for Nutshell Sermons wherever you listen to podcasts. Definitely something I look forward to each and every day.